Hey guys, okay, it's been a while since I did a makeup tutorial, so I'm doing one today, and of course I always focus on the eyes, so this is what I'm doing. It is a orangey and purple kind of smoky eye, so stay tuned if you want to learn how to I'm going to start by priming my eyelid with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Next, I'm going to take a medium-sized eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to use this eyeshadow called Texture by MAC all over my lid just to um, give my eyelid an even color. It's very close to my natural skin tone. Next, I'm going to take Roll by MAC, which is just an orangey brown color um, or like a terracotta. And I'm going to apply this to, uh, I guess you could say, the first two thirds of the lid, packing it in so you really get that color payoff. Next, I'm going to take Shroom by MAC to make my eyes look a little wake by adding it into the inner corner of the eye using this small pencil type brush by Sonia Kashuk. You can use any type of pale goldish or white eyeshadow. Anything will work fine. Now we'll get to the fun purple part. Next, I am going to take my, I think, two, 217 brush, um, any type of dome, flushy brush. You can even use a regular flat eyeshadow shader brush will do. And first, I am going to take this purple shade by MAC called Nocturnal. Um, it's just a medium dark purple. And I'm going to dip my 217 brush into it. And I'm going to lightly start drawing the shape that I want on my eye in um, that outer corner. Okay. So I've lightly started the shape of my eye and just added a little bit of purple. Um, now I'm going to take this purple shadow right here. It's called a Fig One. Um, it is a much more pigment, slightly darker purple shadow. Um, and I'm going to continue working on the outer corner of my eye, adding that purple in. And you're just gonna to get the shape you want. You're just gonna kind of pick it up and drag over up, sort of above my crease. And I'm not taking it all the way in. I only took it about halfway in. And you're just gonna kind of blend it with that orange. Okay, the last purplish shadow I'm going to use is called Plum Dressing. It's more of a bit of a fuchsia color. And I'm going to just use that same 217 brush that I've been using and. I'm going to blend this in with the purple and kind of bring it over to the inner corner of my eye. Just like that, very lightly. Now I'm just going to take a blending brush and kind of blend out any harsh lines that I see. Okay, for my highlight, I'm going to use a color by uh, eyeshadow by MAC called Nano Gold. It's a luster. You could use Shroom if you want or any, like I said before, any, um, type of pale eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little um, of the Nano Gold and this is just a regular um, tapered crease brush that I got from Coastal Scents. And I'll just apply it up there on the brow bone. 
Now what I'm going to do is finish my eye look by lightly filling in, filling in my brows. This is um, Max brow pencil. I don't remember what color this is. It's just a brown though. I rubbed the color off of it, the name off of it, I guess. And I like a a natural looking brow, so and I'm also gonna take a minute to line my eyes. I'm going to use Max Black Track Fluid Line on both my upper lash line and my lower lash line. And then I'm going to use um, Bad Guy Lash Mascara and I'll be back to show you guys the finish. Okay guys, so I just added um, my mascara and eyeliner, so this is the finished look. Um, I also added a little bit of the Fig One, the darker purple eyeshadow right here you know on the the lower lash line just to give it uh, more of a smoky look for the rest of my face i'll tell you what i used for my lips i used this maybelline lip gloss um in touch of toffee it doesn't tell me like the name of the gloss or what type of gloss it is but that's what it looks like um it's just like a sheer nude um coffee color uh for my cheeks i use NARS Orgasm Blush, and I also use Max Bronzing Powder in Refined Deeper Bronze, my favorite bronzer. And just to contour my face a little bit, I used um, Max Brown Down Eyeshadow. So. That's the finished look, and I think it kind of looks nice with um, this little hair experiment that I've got going on, because I just wanted my hair back and off of my face. So. That's the look, and I think that orange and purple, you know, make a really fun color combination. Um, so yeah, that's it. I felt I kept the rest of the face, you know, really natural with the lips and everything. But um. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any questions or want to see any other tutorials, please let me know. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.